Because of the recent changes to Season 10's combat system, making the sword work a little bit smoother, and also the removal of another combat system, it might be time to give everyone a refresher on how the sword works, such as damage points, strategies, cooldown times, and more. So today I'll be sharing everything about the sword that you need to know in Sea of Thieves. The sword can be broken down into three main mechanics, and each of them have their own uses and strategies. The first mechanic of the sword is the classic sword swing. This one swing causes 25 points of damage to a player. If you're unsuccessful on your first swing, then you're put on a one second cooldown before you can do another swing. But if you do successfully hit your first swing, you can then swing twice and then a third time to perform a combo that will knock your enemy back a small distance and take away three fourths of your opponent's health. After the combo, you're put on a second cooldown before you can start swinging again. I would advise caution after completing a combo because the one second cooldown might give your opponent enough time to come back at you with their own sword combo. So unless you retain the upper hand, make sure to block after you successfully do a combo. In terms of strategies that you can do with the sword swing, besides the basic combo, you can jump over your enemy while performing your sword combo to prevent sword blocks, but make sure that you aren't doing this to a blunderbuss user, especially if they're good with it. Hitting an enemy with a sword swing will also cancel their movement if they try to turn their back and run away from you. The second mechanic is the sword block mechanic. This mechanic has two main purposes. The first purpose is simply blocking any sword swing damage that an opponent tries to make on you. If you block an enemy's sword swing, your opponent will still be able to complete the three swing combo on your blocks, but instead of you getting knocked back from the sword combo, your opponent will get knocked back since you blocked them. They will then be stunned for a second, preventing them from making another sword combo. You can use this time to either perform your own three swing combo or run away if you need health and don't want to risk death. The second purpose is is called sword hopping. You perform this action by blocking with your sword and then jump towards any direction to do a quick bunny hop. This can be used for multiple different purposes. For example, if your opponent is about to fire a shot at you, you can bunny hop out of their line of sight right before they shoot to avoid any damage. You can also use this to bunny hop right through a player in close quarters. This will make the enemy disoriented, which will give you the opportunity to perform a combo on them. It can also be used to move around faster if you're hit by a limp ball during battle or simply break your legs from failing an MLG blunder bomb. The third and last mechanic of the sword is the sword lunge or the slunge. You do this by by holding down the attack button while wielding the sword to lunge forward with it. As you charge up, your movement speed is nerfed, but you can actually negate the movement speed by blocking your sword before lunging, giving you a little bit more movement while you charge up. If you don't hit anything when you lunge, you're put on a cooldown where you can't move or attack for two seconds. If you hit your enemy, then it causes 60 hit points of damage and you don't have to deal with the cooldown at all. If you happen to miss the enemy you're lunging at, you can negate the cooldown time by interacting with anything around you like cannons, ladders, a wheel, or other things like that. Sword lunging can also be used to travel long distances in the water quickly by sword lunging off of something so you'll glide in the water. If you need to board a ship a good distance away, for example, you can sword lunge off of your boat to reach the enemy's boat. And also come follow me on my Twitch where I might be streaming Sea of Thieves right now. And if you want to learn some hidden things about Season 10 that you probably don't know, then click on this video right here and learn all about it.